You have to make sure that there's as little debris and junk on the oyster as possible. So any bits of crap that's stuck down the inside of it, bits of sand at the back, just see if you can pull it out. Because this is, gives you a better idea of the where it's actually going to open. Now, oyster build up layers of shell over a period of time, so it's very difficult to find out which bit they've actually got into. Now, ideally you're looking for a sort of a green bit that goes along. There's a sort of green line, which is basically the film where the oyster actually opens. Okay, so it's still quite difficult to see. So usually what I do is, you'll, if you can't see it, that will be it there. Okay, one of these lines. So ideally, you put get a tea towel, use a tea towel like that, so that a the oyster doesn't actually slip from your hand and B, you can actually puncture the back before you actually put in the knife to actually release it. So put in, an, put in, in at the back, preferably with a wide screwdriver. Or an oyster shaker. Yeah. In the absence of an oyster shaker, I tend to just wiggle in at the back and then you would actually try and bend it to open it. But we're not having an awful lot of luck with that. So we know that this bit here is where where it's getting in, so always point away from it. Just need to find a bit. Pry, and then gradually. If you see water coming yep. out, that's you actually getting in. Now there's a. Don't push, just work it back and forward. It'll make its own way in. The whole point is, is that gradually your knife will go in further and further and further. Yeah, see it going in now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you're looking for the main artery. As you can see in these ones here. There's a main muscle group that actually holds it on either side of the, the shell to pull the shell shut, that bit there. It's a hard bit, a bit like a scallop. Okay, what we're trying to do with this is you're going to put your knife in as far as you can and you're going to swing it around in an arc. It actually cuts the back bit there. You want your knife to be as sharp as possible. Bear in mind that bigger the oyster, the more it's actually going to be, let's work up the length of it. You'll find that as you damage, as you damage the, the main artery bit, the knife should slide up and down a bit easier. because you don't want all that stuff to get in. It's quite hard work then. Yeah. The bigger oyster, obviously, the, the more pressure it's actually going to take. The other ones opened a wee bit easier. A wee bit of pressure to oh, it. Oh, That means it's cut through the main artery bit. Now, clean your knife again because there'll still be some bits of shell on it. Slide along the top because you want to take as much as you can. Don't turn the, the oyster after you've actually done it. You don't want to turn it because you want to keep as much of the water on the inside as physically possible because that's what gives you flavour. Use the back of the knife to clean off the top. Okay.
-hmm. Now there won't be any muscle actually holding this, this will just be the bit at the very very back. It's just growing that way because it's, it's that big. And that's basically what's been holding it down, that bit of hard muscle. Mm -hmm. So, your hands and everything. Right, that's going to be joining on on the other side as well. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we'll just run the knife underneath. Ideally a sharp knife. And that's really the only thing that actually holds it in. This will all be loose now. If you want it to be able to move freely. But that's where it's been gripping on the other side. That's why the shell is a different colour. Mm -hmm. All this is edible. That's it.